Hey y'all and welcome back to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. I know it has been a while since you all have seen me here on the channel, but if you've been following my channel for a little while, you will know that we've had some crazy family things happen here lately um, that's beyond our control. So instead of me bringing a lot of new videos to you, I have had a lot of requests um, for me to shorten some of my longer videos on the channel. So if you see two videos of the same, you'll know that there's an original version and there is a shortened version on my channel. Um, but, and also since it is close to spring, I decided to go ahead and clean my oven. It is that time of the year to do some spring cleaning around your house. And what better place to start than your oven? I thought I would bring you all along with me on this journey of cleaning my oven because there's a lot of people out there who love cleaning videos. And I just thought that somebody, maybe one or two people on the channel will absolutely love this video. So my oven is going to go from this to this. So if this is something that you are interested in and love watching satisfying cleaning videos, then this is for you. And stick around because you do not want to miss anything in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm doing is removing the wire racks from my oven. Here are the plastic scrapers that I will be using to remove any excess food particles that's on the bottom and the sides of my oven. So now I'm using a wet paper towel to pick up any of the remaining excess food particles from my oven. And here is a water bottle that I filled up full of super hot water. Now I'll be spraying the sides, the back, and the bottom of the oven, including the oven door. Now after the oven has been sprayed, I'm going to take the remaining water from the bottle and completely cover any of the food or baked on stuff that's in the oven. So here I am setting my easy clean cycle. I done this five times before I decided to go ahead and try to clean up some of the loose particles that's in the oven. So right here I'm using the exact same scraper to scrape off as much as I can out of the bottom part of the oven. Now I'm going to let you just sit back and watch as this progresses. Okay, so now I have a whole bunch of paper towels that I'm going to soak up all that water out of the bottom of the oven. Now I have a bowl to catch the wet paper towels. So now I have a little scrubber to loosen up any of the areas on the bottom of the stove that I did not get before. And I wanted to let you all know too, this is just the first part of my oven cleaning. I wanted to get most of the oven clean before I added my oven cleaner to the oven to remove the rest of the yucky gunk and cooked on food that's in there. Thank you. 
So this is what my oven door looks like after I sprayed my oven cleaner and left it on there for about 20 minutes. Y'all, this was so satisfying, just spraying the spray on there and just wiping it off with super ease. It was amazing. Now that my oven door is clean, it is now time to clean the inside of the oven and finish this job. Now sit back and relax and watch the magic. So now that our oven is clean, it is time to clean the drawer that is underneath the oven. Now I'm using some antibacterial wipes to do this job. Look at how dirty that was. and we cannot leave out the cooktop. I'm gonna show you how I clean my cooktop when there are some stuck on food particles that you just wanna remove but do not know how. So this is what I'm talking about right there. I have one of my cooktop scrubbers and you'll scrub this stove until you feel like all of the stuck on food is off. Now these pads right here are made specifically to clean cooktops and they will not scratch your surface. And I normally use a paper towel to remove all of the excess cleaner that's on my stovetop. I usually have to use quite a few paper towels to get that super glossy shine. Well, there it is, y'all. My oven has been cleaned, and I hope you all enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. And if there are any other type of videos that you would love for me to share on the channel, please put them in the comment section below and let me know what you are interested in. And y'all, I thank you so much for just being here and joining me on this journey. It has been a pleasure and I am blessed to have each and every one of you all here. But if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And go out there and tell your family and friends about this channel also. I would love to have them. 
So without further ado, I'm going to leave you all right here. Until next time, bye-bye now.